my lord and dear husband, I commend me unto you. You brought me here under false pretenses. I assumed it was to discuss a specific legal matter, not to be caught up in this fuse of our repetitious debate. You, sir, face eternal damnation, not only of your own soul, but all of your subjects. You cannot defy the church in this way. The fate of my soul is no longer your concern. It will always be my concern. I am the daughter of the two greatest monarchs this world has ever known. If you challenge me, I shall defeat you. Perhaps you already have, Catherine. And big your place, not theirs. Sister, I believe in the one true Catholic faith, but I respect the beauty of Islam. I want you to know these two sides of me. Tell me more about your home. In the Alhambra. What do you want? Your father will write to you. I know it. I'm sorry. me in the eyes and tell me our marriage has not been a happy one. We must be honest with ourselves. It's been cursed from the start. In the eyes of the church, you are my sister. Then the church is blind. I am my father's daughter. You are my wife. You are not my minister. You are not my chancellor, but my wife. My heart aches at the thought of weeks without you. Mine too. He asked for his head, not his coat. I pray you, give me a child, a son to fill my empty womb. I know you would be rid of me. For some time now, there's been a vast distance between us. And what do you believe the cause to be? Causes. Six children born. Five of them dead. You are taking my child from me. I love you. I pity you. Queen of Hearts. I 
It's not simply for a man of your dignity to be seen to beg in public, whatever the cause. But know this, Henry. I will not let you push me from this marriage. I will always be your wife. There is nothing you can do to change that. Grant me the respect I deserve and please don't dismiss me. I would never dismiss you. No, but you prepared to cast me aside in order to marry another woman. You wish to talk about honesty? I'm not a fool. Speak the plain truth and do not use our church for your own gains. Catherine, why do you choose to make this harder than it need be? Do you think this should be easy? I hope you may find peace. Save her what you have with him. It will not last. And you may sleep in my bed for now. But you will never take my place as Queen of England. No! I will not hear this. You stand before me and you tell me another son of mine is dead. No! What demon are you? A life lived in loyal and unswerving devotion, all for nothing. Did you really imagine I might bid you farewell with a smile on my face? What did you expect from me? Respect! When did you kill him? I did not kill him! You carried him, so when? I have been a true, humble and obedient wife. The hour of my death draws fast on and my case being such. The tender love I owe you forces me to put you in remembrance of the health and safeguard of your soul, which you ought to prefer above all considerations of the world of flesh whatsoever, for which you have cast me into many miseries and yourself into many cares for my part. I do pardon you all. Yea, and I do wish and pray dearly, God, he will pardon you also. For the rest, I commend unto you our, our daughter Mary, beseeching you to be a good father unto her. As I have always desired. And lastly, I vow that mine eyes desire you above all things. <laughs> <laughs>